Jonathan here. We're sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel that saves. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank Father God today for giving us a beautiful day because we woke up, we had the breath of life in our lungs. So many have gone before us and are now dead and they have appointed a man once to die but after that's the judgment according to the word of God. So they have been judged where would you stand today? Heaven or hell? If God were to judge you and to see what your sinful life is like inside your heart. See, I know I'm not perfect. I know I've fallen short. We all fall short of the glory of God, according to Romans 3.23. So none of us are perfect, but is that excuse to live however we want to? It's not. I'm here to tell you that God is watching Every word we say, we will be held accountable. I'm not here to give you a doom and gloom message, but hear me out. Everything we say or do to somebody else, it will come back on this life too. And I'm not speaking of karma or any Eastern religion, but God speaks in His word of reaping and sowing. We are told in the word of God to love God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind, and love our neighbor as ourselves. But are we really living that out? Are we loving our neighbor and ourselves when we go about life and we say cruel things to somebody? We, we, we gossip, malicious gossip. We'll be all held accountable for the things we say, the words we say. It's all written. And there is a book of life. The big question is, when you die, is your name written in the book of life? Because Father God has given us a way of hope. There is a way of salvation. There you know that you could be saved. You know your name could be written in the book of life. And how do we get there, you say? God's so perfect and holy, and we're not perfect and holy. We make mistakes. What do we do to be saved? Repent. Repentance is the change of mind. To turn away from what you used to do. Well, the question is, what do we need to repent of? What is what is we doing wrong? You know, everything's great in our life. Why do we need to repent of anything? Well, what the Word of God says, the Bible says, sin. Sin is transgression of the law. What does transgression of the law mean? What is the law? Well, God has put forth a law. Thousands of years ago, He visited a holy man by the name of Moses. Moses, like all of us, was just a man that had his own faults. Well, what he did was visit Moses and show him who he was. See, God is one to not be a, like a grandfather, like we all think of him as perfectly nice, like a Santa Claus to give us whatever we want. Well, he is also a consuming fire. He was in a burning bush visiting Moses. The bush never was destroyed. And he gave Moses a command to go and set his people free. Fast forward, Moses obeyed after much pushback, and God came down in his fire and visited Moses, giving him the law. The law is the Ten Commandments. We all may have heard of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, thou shalt not make any graven images, which is idolatry. Thou shalt not take the Lord God's name in vain, which is blasphemy. Thou shalt not kill Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And there's several others here. We know there's ten, but if we break just one of those perfect, holy ten commandments, then we are separated from God. Now, what God would have to do is judge us based on the ten commandments, the law, and if we've just broken one of them, that judgment would lead to eternal separation in hell. And hell is not a party where you're just going to see all your friends, but it is. Ongoing forever, there's no escape, and God does not want to give us the holy righteous judgment for breaking His Ten Commandments. But He has provided a way out. He has provided a way out by becoming down to earth 2,000 years ago in the person of Jesus Christ. His righteous blood, His holy blood was shed for us. Now if we put our faith and trust in His holy blood, all our sins would be 
washed away clean.